Welcome back to our most disturbing images of all time, part 5. This picture was taken during the Russian famine of 1921, when cannibalism was rife and very common. This is a family market stall selling human body parts to starving locals. The notorious murderer, Ed Gein, would exhume corpses of the recently deceased and fashion household items out of the putrid flesh. Here is a pair of gloves made entirely out of human skin. This doll may look innocent. However, this doll is the infamous Annabelle. Bought as a gift for a child, this doll has been reported to move its limbs and even its position. Believed to be possessed by the spirit of a young girl, the child's toy has a history of haunting people in their sleep. She now resides in a sealed case which is often blessed by religious figures to keep demons at bay. Attempting to look like a bodybuilder, this guy injected himself with a substance known as synthol. Instead, he ended up looking like a giant uterus. This image is commonly used to show how important seatbelts really are. However, it has been reported that this man who is missing his jaw tried to pull the pin on a grenade with his teeth. The eyes that saw a nuke. A child is blinded after seeing the blast of the Hiroshima bombing of 1945. The earthquake that struck Haiti in 2010 claimed the lives of up to 300,000 people. Here is a worker throwing the body away of what seems to be a child into a makeshift mortuary. Keith Sapsford was a 14-year-old boy who wanted to see the world. He stowed himself away inside the landing gear of a Japan Airlines passenger jet. He lost his grip and fell 200 foot to his demise. 22-year-old Julia Popova was mugged as she made her way back home from work. As she scurried home she was unaware, probably due to adrenaline, that there was a 6-inch knife embedded a quarter of an inch away from her spinal cord. The murder of little Jamie Bulger is a harrowing tale. As 2-year-old Jamie and his mother were shopping in Bootle, England, two 10-year-old boys named Robert Thompson and John Venables were playing truant from school. CCTV was captured of the two, seemingly waiting in the shopping centre as they selected a target. As Jamie wandered away from his mother, who was in the butchers, the two soon-to-be killers abducted Bulger and took him to a nearby railway line and tortured him. Shortly after, they killed 2-year-old Jamie by beating him to death. John and Robert were caught and later convicted of abduction and murder, becoming the youngest convicted murderers in British history. They are now free and under the Witness Protection Programme. Thanks for watching more of our disturbing images. Be sure to like and subscribe for more new fusion action. I've been LJ. Sleep tight.